So, welcome back to pool series level 6. So, there goes our usual plant choices. This time we will keep the usual sort. Let's begin. So usual formation, two edges and L's of sunflowers, followed by the plant explosives of landmines. You know, I prefer the those to the chili. You know, they have a high recovery and also emergency is always overrated under the clutch. So plant. So we have the landmines and kelps in the pool and the front rows. Almonds in the middle row and bitter gourd. We have enough emergency attacks, so bitter gourd is it does the job. Bitter gourd, sorry. Let's plant the first kelp. Perhaps kelp is the most frightening plant. Frightening plant. This is the best man, the sound, the sound of the bitter goat. Hmm? Boom. Just awesome. There goes a the second kelp. Okay, our L shape is finally coming to an end. There you go. One more lily pass and flower and you know. For a defensive wall, we'll add an additional pea shooter in the water lane, the pool lane, and the almond. There goes the first pea shooter in the pond. Three headed pea shooter. There's a lime on there. By the time the zombies start chewing up or gobbling, whatever the, it is they do, on the other ones, the lime will pop up <coughs> and will explode. So that's a perfect defensive front, defensive attacking uh, strategy. And we also have lime mines uh, the end row, you know, in case some zombies can get past the attacking mine. This was the most joyful to play the pool series because it's uh, most enjoying. You know, not too easy and again, not too uh, arduous, you can say. Very good challenging level. The night one was okay and the fog one gets much more difficult and complex. But again, more fun over there. At that time, I can say that I played in clutch. This irregular formation just do whatever it is to save us. Yeah. So whatever you, uh, whatever you can collect up, just do it. Bitter gods are the best there because they can attack backwards in all directions. No, sorry, just front and back, not side lanes. So that's the one emergency attack up my sleeve. Okay, there goes a triangle. Okay, my uh, I just. Realize this that we can actually modify the triangle. Uh, we can include the sunflowers in the second last uh, rows from both ends, and the triangle we can move up to the edge, you know, the third last row, third last corner row, corner of the row. So that is very good formation. Fill up all the spaces. Oh. 
But this is the best it gets, as it gets, you know, the best formation uh, I can come up with. L-shaped edges and sunflowers. They may be it. Uh, any other people may prefer their own uh, formation. But this has worked out well for me, and uh, I would like to uh, recommend people to try this. It is just soothing to watch this man. Completely beautiful. on the water lane. There are the almond there at the front, yeah. This is how I, I always plan. Kill to the front uh, front rows, followed by two almonds, then the pea shooters. And the uh, supplementary shots from other pea shooters, even the third shot. So it overlaps and uh, provides a very good suppressing fire. And one spot will always uh, leave open for the agency attack. Okay, I think we've almost covered. This one's unsatisfying in the pool lane. I actually wanted the pieces to be exactly in the same row, but it's alright, no problem. Life is nothing but random. Okay, I think I might uh, fill up the entire field in this level. We've got three huge visual zombies. Alright, there you go. But lab, I'll take care of the job. See, so in case of this thing, I usually use the the thorn uh, grass weed, uh, weed type plant, the brown one, but the bit got uh, does work, so we we'll always have one in handy. And the rest will be taking our landmines, explosives. Right, that's what you see. So that's why I always plan it big old, big old behind the almonds. So you know, make sure that it doesn't get doesn't get wasted. Uh, only when actually need. So suppressing fire from the behind, almonds in the front to distract them, stall them. Landmines in case they get fast and just uh, beside the landmines, the big ones for the vehicles. Yeah, so this is the best strategy I think. Uh, no need for the chili and all the emergency attacks. But you can use them as well. Both uh both work out pretty well. Yeah, so in this case it's gonna so this guy's gonna crush all my ones and yeah you got better go that. Just beautiful. I mean it doesn't get better than this. There you go, final wave. Let's see what they have in the house for us. There he goes, oh my god, skateboard. Oh no, they don't use a big one, they just come on. There you go, explosive will take care of this. Thing. See, the bit god does the job. Just fucking awesome. Full proof. But again, uh, that's why I always, uh, in this level, luckily I planted them uh, well before in advance. And so I don't have to cope up with the recovery rate. Just my luck. There you go, back up. Always try to replace them uh, exactly quickly. Well, uh, we got one thing to advantage that uh, in the game, the, they make sure that the uh, same vehicle doesn't come twice on a single lane, so luck. Well, I guess that's it then. Thank you so much boys and girls.